Now we want to estimate the concentration of cells in our sample. So the number of colony forming units per milliliter. And we do that by dividing the number of colonies that we see on the plate by the total dilution of that sample. Now remember, if you plated less than one milliliter, as we did on some of the plates, that plate is further diluted, so we have to take that into account. So for example, on, on plate A or strip A, we plated only 0.1 milliliters of the 10 to the minus four bottle. So its dilution is actually further diluted than that. So its dilution is 0.1 ml, which is how much you plated, times the dilution of that bottle. which gives you a 10 to the minus five dilution. So it's 0 0.00001. Okay, so let's figure out how you would do that on a plate, calculating your number of colonies. So if we count If we count 50 colonies on plate A, you would estimate the sample the following way. You would do the number of colonies over the dilution that led to those colonies. Okay, so let's say we counted 50. going to do, divide that by the total dilution. So the volume that you put on the plate, which is the 0.1 ml, times the concentration of that bottle. 10 to the minus 4. So these two together are the same as this 10 to the minus 5. I'm just breaking it down for you on here. So you're doing the number of colonies divided by the dilution that led to those colonies. So the number of colonies on this plate in this example is 50 colonies divided by the volume that you put on the plate times the concentration of the bottle. So that's the total dilution. So that gives you 50 divided by 0 0.00001 dilution. And when you calculate that, that equals 5 million colonies. So that's your colony forming units per milliliter. And you can also write that as five times 10 to the sixth CFUs per milliliter.